Hey, welcome back to another RSD tutorial. My name is Matt and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a neat little gradient line trick in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, we were going to be creating this cool little uh, gradient line trick here in Adobe Illustrator today. Uh, I've got my file laid out in a way so that the steps on your left, kind of a work in progress is here in the middle, and then some blank artboards for you to follow along with are here in case you wanted to download this file from our blog and follow along. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop right into step one. Uh, and this is going to be created gradient. I've selected the orange and yellow here just because it's such a good contrast on this kind of off black here. Uh, but to make a gradient, what we're going to do is select our uh, square down here, our rectangle down here. And we're going to open our window and then go to gradient. Uh, with this selected, we're going to make sure that's the fill color. Uh, and it's as simple as just selecting one of these nodes, picking the eyedropper tool, and then clicking on the color you want to change it to. And it's that simple. So once we have that created, we're able to click on this. You can see it over here in our fill panel. We're just going to drop down our color box, hit our hamburger menu, and save that swatch. So now I've already saved this one, so I'm not going to do it again, but you can name it whatever, and it's here in your color panel forever. Uh, step two, we're going to draw a shape. Uh, I like the way the triangle looks in, in the end. So what I've done is just grab the star tool. And as I start to pull that, you can use your arrow keys up and down, change how many points you have on your star. So let's just delete that one and we'll continue on with the one we have. I'm going to pull this down into our next step. This one, you're not going to really see much going on. Uh, it's more so just telling you what steps to take from here. So I'm just going to drag that down one more. And then from here, what we're gonna to wanna to do is follow these settings over here in the transform panel. So step three tells us that with our object selected, we're gonna effect and then come down to distort and transform, transform. So the only settings you'll be changing here are your horizontal, which I'm gonna do 95, our vertical, which I'm also gonna to change to 95. Uh, we're gonna change the angle to two degrees and then make sure we have quite a few copies so that we can see what's going on over here. And with preview select on and off, you'll be able to see what's going on over here on the right hand side while you're doing these uh, inputs. So I'm just gonna hit okay. And as you can see, the effect is pretty much already done for us. I'm just gonna drag it down and go a step further. Uh, with this, we can just grab our direct select tool or, you know, A, and grab one of these uh, corner nodes and just start pulling in and it'll select the other two as well. And then we'll just get those nice rounded corners and gives you a nice, uh, neat little gradient line art. And this effect can be used on circles, squares, rhombuses, rectangles, pretty much any shape, you name it, even the stars with multiple points. Uh, and you can always come back in here and change the color of your gradient as well. So if you like this effect, uh, Make sure you go download the working file, which will be exactly what you see here uh, from our blog. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, be sure to leave us a like and subscribe if it was helpful. And follow us on Instagram for more tips and tricks.